Hello, this is Nick with Nick's Computer Fix, and here's a video on how to download and install iTunes on Windows 11. It's free and easy. And by the way, if you would like to support my channel, please be sure to click on that subscribe button. It's appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing we want to go ahead and do is open up a internet browser. Google Chrome and once I have it open I'm going to go to my favorite search engine which happens to be Google and type iTunes on the search line here and hit the enter key and that brings up uh, potential links and the one that I suggest is iTunes um, and that's the Apple website and click on downloads. And that takes you to the apple.com website where you can download iTunes directly from Apple. And as you can see, here's the link and I will place that in my video description for you. Now if we come down here a little bit below here and scroll down a little bit, we see there are several versions and flavors that you can download. The one that is most often download is the one right here, Windows 64-bit um, version. But if you happen to have Windows 32-bit, download that one, which is the first one. But 64-bit is most often download and uh, installed on most Windows 11 PCs as well as Windows 10 PCs. Okay, let's go ahead and click on download here. And once I do that, It'll start downloading for me and I can go up here and click on this down arrow and see that the download is in uh, process here of downloading. And depending on the speed of your internet and the performance of your laptop computer, um, it can take a few seconds and, or it can take up to even an hour or so. And once it's completed, I can go ahead and click on it and that will begin the iTunes installation on my Windows 11 laptop computer here. Now depending on the performance of your laptop it can take a couple of seconds for the installation to start up. Okay now I get the prompt for welcome to iTunes and I can go ahead and click on install and then I get an opportunity to change the default settings here but I like them all so I'm going to just go ahead and click on install here and it will take a few minutes for it to copy all the files to your computer and once all the files are copied to your computer you'll get this prompt here it will say congratulations and you are finished with the installation but before I click on finish I want to point out that it does put a shortcut on your desktop here and you can also grab and drag it and put it anywhere on your desktop all right let me go ahead and click on finish and open up iTunes automatically for me now once iTunes is open normally you'll get a prompt that says do you want to update to the latest version you will go ahead and click on that but if you don't get the prompt you can always go up to the menu here and click on help and then scroll down and click on uh, let's see check for updates and that will go out to apple.com and look for any updates that are available and in this case there is a newer update available and it asks me if I want to download iTunes and uh, I am going to go ahead and do that because I want to be running the latest iTunes version on my computer here. Now once you do that you would think you get a prompt but actually you get this down here on the taskbar and you have to open it up and you'll see that it is the Apple software update. Uh, utility and I can go ahead and click on install item and you'll get a prompt that says you know do you authorize this to 
uh, make changes on your computer and I'll say yes and once I do um, it'll go ahead and start downloading the latest version of iTunes um, to my computer here and again depending on your internet speed and the performance of your laptop computer or even your desktop computer it will take um, a few seconds to a couple of minutes or even as long as an hour it also depends on how busy the Apple com website servers are their download servers if they're super busy then it's going to be slower in downloading to your computer see that once the download is done it goes and automatically starts installing for you and then you'll get automatic software update prompt that tells you you need to reboot your computer in order for the installation to be completed okay i'm gonna go ahead and click on yes and once again it will restart my computer here and once it's uh, restarted and i log back into windows 11 it will finish installing itunes for me and i will get this prompt which is the license agreement for using itunes and you can scroll down and read that and once you have finished reading it go ahead and click on agreed at this point itunes will open up and we should be on the latest version of itunes and if you would like to see if you are it is very simple to check that out you go to the help menu and then go down and click on check for updates and it will give you the latest version number that you are presently running and i'm running the latest version here so awesome and then you can go ahead and go to the itunes store and you know play music uh, get music you want watch the latest movies enjoy ad free tv shows whatever you would like thanks for watching subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like <laughs>